Hey, you guys, welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm joined by Gabriel Shapiro. He is with Five Seeds Restaurant. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank how you. are you? I'm doing well. Good. We were just chatting before how, you know, you, you've been around a little bit and in, in that you've played soccer for Provo High, uh -huh. also BYU Hawaii, uh -huh. and in Italy, right? Yep. And this is, your, is this your first time on TV, like just officially? Yes, it yeah? is. Yeah, that's so great. How is it so far? It's not bad. <laughs> a little oh. hot from the lights, but. Right. But when you're talking about food, anything's easy, right? Yeah, right. We got some tasty food to, to try out this morning, which we'll bring on Joe to do in just a moment. But Five Seeds, you guys have your roots in Australia, right? Tell me about it. Right. So um, Andrew and Tiffany Percy, they moved here from Melbourne, Australia about a year back. Um, all their kids do mountain sports. And they actually have five children. That's why we have the name Five Seeds. Oh, great. Um, okay. And so they just miss the food culture at home being able to go to breakfast, lunch, and meet their friends um, and, in a nice family environment um, and eat fresh, like they would at home, fresh ingredients, mm -hmm. everything made from scratch, things like that. Um, so they decided to take on the project and make five, five seeds. Um, and also we import the coffee from Melbourne because Australians are really peculiar about their coffee. Um, so and very picky, so they want to make sure picky. they have it where they want it. So we're excited. We serve all our um, coffee drinks the mm -hmm. traditional Italian way. So there's not going to be a 20 ounce latte with different flavors. It's just going to be straight pure coffee um, the way it's meant to be. Um, we also, uh, the food, I guess, um, Chef Christopher Conville, he's actually local, born and raised in Park City. Um, got a chance to go to Australia before opening up mm -hmm. um, so he could experience the food culture, the cafe scene, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And that really inspired him to create these dishes. Um, you know, when you talk about the Australian foodie culture, that's not something you often hear of being transplanted to say, Park City, or maybe you guys have. That's pretty unusual and really great, unique uh, to the area. Yeah, it's been a, a little more popular recently. Mm -hmm. um, it, it For me, it was, it's been really interesting to find out how Australians are really passionate about their mm -hmm. food. Um, and their food is actually really um, complete because there's so many cultures that bring it on. So it creates a perfect melting pot wow. um, so you can have really good Italian food, mix it a little bit with your Chinese food or Asian mm -hmm. influences, things of that nature. Yeah, so Gabriel, it kind of explain that, that fusion when we have, when you s talk about Australian fare or Australian influence, what are we gonna find on your menu? So um, the, the key to really good food that's influenced by the Australian culture is gonna be from the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try to find the best local and seasonal ingredients um, possible just to create whatever we comes to our mind. Um, uh, the, as far as, that's what I'm saying, with the, uh, the Australian culture is that it's so diverse mm -hmm. and so many um, different cultures have influenced it that it really gives you a, a big broad space to kind of make whatever comes to your mind. Right, so. and, and season yeah. by season, you have some different ingredients yeah, rolling so, in, right? Uh, we do have our core menu that's things that aren't gonna change. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just change up different items on uh, the plates. For example, our uh, Benedict eggs right now, we um, have pulled pork in it to make it a little bit lighter and more, you get more protein with it. Mm -hmm. um, but you still have the delicious hollandaise sauce and the poached egg. Nice. Um, we always have the uh, smashed avo toast that's really popular. Um, that's uh, kind of a... And kind of a trendy item right now. It's trendy. I would say. It, I see a lot of Instagram posts with, with avocado yeah. toast. And <laughs> it was more so, I think that's more of like the Australian um, kind of, you know, uh, farm to table concept. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really a fun dish that we can play with. That's great. Uh, so if you're coming in for lunch, that's, uh, I mean, you mentioned the avo toast. Uh, can the, are breakfast and lunch so items kind of served throughout? Yes, yeah, so okay. we're open at 7.30 every morning and we close at 3 p.m. Um, we start serving we serve breakfast all day, but we start serving some of the lunch items at 11. Got it, cool. So, and you brought on some uh, yep. hot cake, right? So here's one of our most popular dishes. Uh, okay. It's the hot cake. Um, it's not a pancake. That is a cake, guys. It's a cake. <laughs> yeah, so, um, that's pretty thick. One of the things that's unique about uh, our batter is that we separate the egg whites, so it mm -hmm. makes it really nice and fluffy Ooh. when you're eating it. Um, and it takes about six to eight minutes to cook in the oven. Ooh, looks um, tasty. I'm gonna smell that. Didn't you say 
It's kind of like, isn't there some lemon in it? Or is that this? Yeah, so there's going to be a little bit of citrus influence in mm -hmm. the batter and also um, in our mascarpone. And what is mascarpone? Uh, mascarpone is a cheese. It's a, the equivalent of cream cheese in, in Italy. Cream cheese, if, any, if anytime is it. good stuff. Yeah, right? So if it's kind of like that, I'm so taking it. it's great because it's, it'll give you the savory a aspect on the hot cake. So mm -hmm. it's not like sweet on sweet like most oh, places have yeah, syrup I like that. and whipped cream. We decided to go with the more savory sort of cream. Mm -hmm. So you can still get the creaminess, but it's a little, you get the combination of the sweetness and the savory and all that. Ooh, you guys know what it's about. Let's bring on Joe to, to do a taste test, and so I will as well. So how do you, let yeah, Let me what show do you? you. We usually make a little dent here. Okay, in the, we're in making the a dent, Joe. Yep. Yeah. Then we put the mascarpone on top. Like, like and it's been squirted around? And we'll leave it. when you eat it, okay. you can rub it around. I'm like, we're ready. <laughs> so, you want to um, frost with it. It's <laughs> not frosting. frosting. I was going to say frosting. Green yeah, you could. Chelsea's all about the frosting. Sprinkled with a little bit of, um, uh, beet or yeah, beet dust. So oh, wow. really that's nice. where you get that pretty a color, right? Edition, and then yeah. we like to just dump the berries so it looks natural, so we're mm -hmm. not really staging it, um, so it doesn't look fake. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Um, I always wonder how they do that on those commercials, Joe. They're we staging put, it. They're staging yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of nuts on it. Yeah, tabletop video. They stage everything, right? <laughs> oh, Ooh, that, that looks, looks tasty. What kind so, of nuts are there? Um, so you have uh, some walnuts. You have some toasted Pumpkin almonds. Seeds. Ooh, yeah. Seeds. I yep. see those. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Got wow. one more. And then this is what really makes it stand out. Oh my gosh. Some flowers. That looks amazing. Yep. We do some uh, some edibles. Check edible that out, flowers. you guys. Yep. Okay, what kind of flower? That How, That's really yummy. <laughs> How do you know if you can eat the flowers, though? Because you can't, can you eat any flowers? Uh, not any flower, but I'm pretty sure if, like, no, Chelsea, those if are somebody's poisonous. eaten it before, you're safe to eat. Okay, okay. Right? <laughs> I'll have Joe taste you know, it, it first. You know, it's, it's all about the color of Chelsea. It so is then, it? Yeah, okay. go by color. Here's if the color looks good to you, just eat it. Oh, a Got beautiful um, local product. These microgreens are... <laughs> And these are from Camus. Camus yeah. yeah. I love the Harvest Farms. Greens. They they've been doing a great job. Can I try another flower? Of is course. Like okay, I have to try one now. Really I have to try yummy. it on its own. And then finally, you uh, you gotta have a little sweetness, so you sprinkle some syrup, maple oh syrup goodness. for the flavor. The maple. You just go with a traditional. And make it shine because you want you want to make these. Um, beautiful ingredients shine and go ahead. Like oh my gosh, garden we need party to get a picture in my of mouth. This first. I'm almost I know. afraid Can we to show eat you it. This guy's yeah, a little bit. That is gorgeous. Yep. That this, this is one of the right most there. beautiful dishes I've ever wow. seen created on we, the show. We get that it's a lot so when I bring it to the table. People are like, oh, I'm so afraid to eat it. Yes. Yes. Naturally so fell. Did you see that? It naturally, naturally dropped. Fell? Yes. yes. You, you want to leave it very well done. So when you get, I like to get a nice big bite with the mascarpone. You go first. Go ahead. Well, I'll take from this side. You can take from that side. Does that work? See how that works. Right. But I, I get two thirds of the mascarpone. You and I used to share. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> they, these are some of the rules. You remember how Chelsea these rules has a work. 20% rule. <laughs> no. Joe gets 20, she gets 80. Yeah. No. <laughs> only, for, only for certain things, 80, though. 20, huh? Th yeah, it's things. chocolate. Yeah. That, that's where that started. The chocolate? And then mm -hmm. anything I choose to impose that rule on last minute. With this being too. savory, I get a better portion. There you go. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys, that mascarpone is so good. Wow. That, right? That is good stuff. You feel mm. how it's like, it's a cake, but it's also so light that it just melts in your mouth. That's insane. That is amazing. You keep talking to him. I'm going to try Well, I'm not more. done yet either. You can talk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. No, but so, tell us once again where you're located. So we're right here at 1600 Snow Creek Drive, mm -hmm. right next to the market and the liquor store. Mm -hmm. um, so there's plenty of parking. You don't have to deal with the Main Street um, parking issues and that is crowds. Nice. Wow. Um, we also have, right now for the summertime, our outdoor seating area um, with a big umbrella. So it's been really nice. Um, come by, you can enjoy some of our nitro cold brew coffee. So oh, I'll be there at 9.15, okay? <laughs> there yeah, go. show's over in a couple today. minutes. Yeah. I'm at Five Seeds. So yeah, come weird. join me, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. We'll all have come a good to time table. together. He's buying, so. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not so much. I like to just do this for Thanks you. Thanks for that. Yeah, new friends, no, new we'll friends, We'll see you right? at 9.15 at Five Seeds. Wow. That's right. right. Good stuff, man. There's at least five seeds in this one. Yes, there are. Maybe yep. a few more. Great things. All right. Well, thank you so okay. much, Gabriel. Thank Such you. a pleasure to we'll have you here. You yeah, thanks, stuff. Gabriel. Be sure to check out Five Seeds. We're going to go to a commercial break. When we get back, we'll let you know what's happening on the show next. 
Hey, you guys, welcome back. We're in the kitchen. A last couple of minutes with, with our friend, uh, with our very new friend, an <laughs> yeah. awesome friend, yeah, Gabriel, Gabriel here. Yeah. That's how this works. I don't know if you know that, but we only make friends one way, I and that's it. through that's food. That's through food. <laughs> that's perfect. Yes. That's how we do it here. It's a short list, but there is a list. Well, yeah. That's, yeah. How, that's what we like to do at Five Seeds. We just come down. It's going to be friendly. It's going to be fun, like you would be eating a meal with your family. So. Like Gabriel's I said, Joe's buying there we at 9.15 a.m. this morning. I sure Five am. Seeds. I'll see you. Bye, <laughs> Meet new friends and family all Wow, time. everybody's going to show up right? expecting that, Gabriel. I'm really yeah. sorry. Well, Gabriel, he was, or excuse me, Joe, he, he was saying that people wake up at night thinking of this. I can this imagine dish. why. Yeah, that was good stuff. Well, I, I got to say, I mean, you guys kind of invoked the spirit of the, of, of the restaurant with this, with, with the seeds and with the greens. And, I, and as you mentioned, we talked about gluten-free. So, uh, every, you know, you guys know I'm gluten-free now. And I'm kind of breaking the rule just a touch, but <laughs> to um, there are so many other gluten-free options. Eighty percent mm -hmm. or so of the menu. So yeah, anything that we make with bread, um, like our Benedict eggs or um, oh yeah, uh, that's good stuff. The huh? burger we can all put it in a gluten-free bun, so you can enjoy it. I mean, oh that's no great. To, Love to that. not have it. Indeed, yeah, yeah, I can eat a burger again, which is always a good thing for mm -hmm. sure. But not to mention just uh, so many other lovely dishes, uh, as you mentioned, salads, all kinds of different things. Uh, the as coffee well, as well. from right. Melbourne. So um, one of our other populars is the uh, superfood grain salad. That sounds um, great. So mm -hmm. since we make everything from scratch, um, if you're gluten free, we are able to take out the farro that has gluten in it. Mm, and that think faro. Yeah. yeah, people don't think about that one, but that'll get you. Yeah, it'll get you. So, yeah, I took out the faro, and then you have a super green, super, green, super uh, healthy, yeah. yummy you salad. Throw a poached egg Lots on of protein. There, some bacon, <gasps> and you're set. You're talking my language, Gabriel. <laughs> See, we are family. That's the whole point. And, of course, we're, we're family with you, which is why we are thrilled you tuned in. Stay with us for the next hour. That begins right after these messages right here on Park City Television. See you soon. Bye.